Hi guys. So few weeks back, one of our student went for an interview in Infosys for the data science position. And during that interview, a few Python programming questions were asked. So what we will do today is we'll go through those Python programming questions and I will also tell you solutions, how you can approach those problems and how you can solve those problems in the right way. Because when you go for any data science interview, Python, SQL and machine learning, these three are important topics. And I have seen that during a Python programming round, people spend a lot of time just thinking about the solution and they don't start coding. And that creates a lot of time pressure when they are trying to solve that solution within given time. So it's very important that you start solving even if you don't come up with the best possible solution, when if it is not completely optimized, that is okay because out of 10 people, only three people or four people would actually solve all the problems. So solving all the problems is very, very important. Now let's go through these Python programming questions and the solutions for it. And after you check the video, my recommendation to is whenever we discuss the question, you put the video on pause, try to solve that question yourself and then you check my solution. That would also help you to practice as you go through this video. So the first question which was asked was write a Python function that will reverse a string without using the slicing operation or reverse function. So we have to write a function which can reverse any string without using slicing operation or without using reverse function. So let's try to write our logic now. So let's write a function def reverse string. So we are writing our own function. And let's say it's taking the input with the variable name data. So I'm initializing a result over here. And here we would be calling the function. Let's say data is equal to Python. So we would check whether the string is reversed or not. So when we want to reverse the string, when we reverse the string, the last character of the input string would become the first character of the reverse string. So that's the logic we have to write basically. So let's iterate over the string. So for character in data, what we will do is our result would be equal to character plus result. So every time the character that we are getting, we are appending it as the first character so that when we go through complete string, the last character would become the first character in this string because we are creating a reverse string and then we will return a result. Now let's see whether this works. Okay, so this is our input string Python. So if we reverse it, the first character would be N, then that would be followed by O, then H, T, Y, P. So we are able to reverse the string by using this logic without using any inbuilt function or without using the slicing operation in strings. Now the next question is write a program to delete all consonants from a given string. And this is the input string that has been given to us. Now, consonants are basically all alphabetical characters which are not vowels. So, vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Those are the vowels. So, any characters which are not A, E, I, O, U are called as the consonants. So, we have to write a logic which would take any input string and it would basically delete all the consonants from that string and remaining characters are written. So, let's write a function. Let's say return. string and let's say the input is data and would return the result and we will be calling this function to test our logic so to start with we would pass this string which has been given as example okay so basically we want to delete all the consonants. So we will keep all the vowels and all the numerical or any other characters. So let's create a list of vowels first. So these are all the vowels A, E, I, O, U and it can be in small or capital. So I will keep both. And let's say result is equal to. So let's create a list for 
character in data so we'll take all the characters in data if character not in vowels so if the character basically should be in vowels because we want to delete the consonants so if the character is in vowels we'll take those characters and it can happen that someone is passing the number or some other character apart from the a to z characters which we have so to handle that so if character it's alphabetical so basically what we are doing is if the character is not alphabetical or if character is present in vowels then we would take that character otherwise we are going to ignore that character so that's the logic we are writing now let me run this function and let's test the logic with this string which we have okay so we are getting the error string object has no attribute is okay so there is a spelling mistake a is missing so this should work now okay so if you see now it has taken all the characters from the given string which are not consonants so now we are left with all the vowels because we are not having any number in our string so let's say i also add some numbers for testing uh, let me run this now so the number is kept because we want to delete all the consonants apart from that all other characters we want to keep now let's return the result in the form of string only so i would join all the characters in this list now Okay, let me run this okay so if you see now we are left with all the vowels and the numerical characters so we are able to delete all the consonants from our input string so we have successfully solved this question now the next question is write a program that will find the sum of all the prime numbers between 1 and n okay so we have to find sum of all the prime numbers so prime numbers are the numbers which are not divisible by any other number apart from one and that number itself so let's say for example number three if we try to divide it by any other number we won't be able to get a remainder equal to zero so that is a basically a number which we can call as a prime number uh, then one is not a prime number so we are not going to consider one so let's write first a function to identify whether number is prime or not so it's prime and the input would be number so we have to take all the numbers from 2 to n so for z in range to comma number if z if number is divisible by any number till that number number percent z is equal to equal to zero So if the number is divisible by any number till that number so let's say that if we get a number let's say 8 now that number 8 when we go through the loop it would be divisible by 2 so that number then won't be a prime number if we get a number 7 and if we go through this loop number 7 is not divisible by any number it is not divisible by 2 not divisible by 3 not divisible by 4 5 6 all the numbers till that number so number 7 would come as a prime number so we are just checking whether the number is divisible by any other number right from the number 2 till that number and if none of that matches then obviously it's a prime number okay so this is the logic we have written for identifying whether number is prime or not now let's write a logic for adding all the numbers 
which are the prime numbers so let's say total is equal to 0 i am just initializing a sum and then for z in range 2 comma number plus 1 now here i am taking number plus 1 because we have to add all the numbers till n so i am assuming that we have to add all the numbers till n the number that the user is passing that's why i am taking here number plus 1 so that we are considering even the number which is passed by the user for doing the addition operation and what we will be doing total is equal to total plus z so we are going to add that number only if that number is a prime number so i am going to add that condition if so let's call a function for checking a prime number and here we'll be passing z so only if this returns true we are going to add that number because we want to add all the prime numbers and then you'll be returning the sum that we are getting and let's call this function now we'll have to test it so here the colon is missing here also it is missing now let's run it one by one okay now let's say i am passing number 10 let's check what's the result we are getting okay so the result that we are getting is 17 because when we consider the prime numbers the prime numbers would be 2 3 5 then we would have 7 so all those numbers are getting added so 2 plus 3 would be 5 so the prime numbers from 1 to 10 would be 2 then 3 would be prime number 4 is not a prime number because it is divisible by 2 then 5 is a prime number 6 is again not a prime number because it is divisible by 2 and 3 then again 7 is a prime number it's not divisible by any other number 8 is not a prime number it's divisible by 2 9 is not a prime number uh, because it is divisible by 3 10 is also not a prime number uh, because it is divisible uh, by 2 so if i add this the total is 17 and that's the number we are getting so the logic that we have written for adding the prime numbers is working fine so what we have done is we have written one function which checks whether the number is prime or not and another function which adds up all the numbers based on whether they are prime or not so this is how we have successfully solved the third question as well so i hope you guys got clarity on how you can approach these programming questions during the interview so make sure that you are you are doing good practice so only way in which you can solve these questions is if you have done a lot of practice if you have done a lot of practice you can solve these questions very easily and confidently during a python programming interview thanks for watching the video guys and i will see you in the next one bye bye